Everybody, Jeff Hartstein here. Well, now we're on to episode 11B for Star Wars vs. Evil, but the banana chick incident. Let's dive on in and see what this incident is. to spice up a dull day. Hmm. Today might be the day I face my biggest fear. Boredom. Maybe today's the day I renounce my vow to never have a dull day. Today, I will look boredom in its eyes. Those beady little black eyes, like tiny little black fists. I'll look into those eyes and I will say... Oh, wait, never mind. What's this? Oh. The Banagic Wand. Earth's coolest magical treat. <gasps> Earth magic! I swear to baby dolphin giggles, I will find the Banagic Wand before oh, this day dear. is done. Or die trying. Or my name's not Star Butterfly. Wait. As me as my witness, I'll never A go wand again. and an Earth magazine? And anything else I'm supposed to say to make this official. Woohoo! I don't know where I'm going. Hmm. Ah, as featured on TV. But I saw it in this magazine. Hmm. Ah, uh -huh. a riddle. <laughs> but I'm terrible at riddles. Need more go. Margo! <sighs> <sighs> oh. Margo! Ah! Oh. 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 <laughs> that thing from TV? <gasps> You've seen it? Yeah. It's one of those late night commercials. So it does exist. To the TV! I can't. I've got to get to my karate class. <laughs> Your new kidney came from a werewolf. Glitter grenade free. <laughs> it's so hot. And I'm so bored. Oh, what are they going to do? The Banagic Wand. It's a little bit of banana and a little lot of magic. Designed by leading freezologists, the Banagic Wand uses state-of-the-art molecular astronomy to frostulate your sizzle zones. I'm chilling you out. Mmm, I'm totally chilled out. There's enough Banagic fun for all my friends to enjoy. <laughs> Friendship magic. Available at better stores near you. Better stores? Supplies are limited. Get yours now! Oh, supplies are limited! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Wow. <gasps> oh, I can't. I have karate. Today we're learning how to channel our emotions. <gasps> to a better store near us! Did you hear anything I just said? A little bit of banana, a little lot of magic. Star, I can't go now. And I'm not sure you have a firm enough grasp on Earth culture to go on your own. We're not moving. You push these little thingies with your feet. Honestly, Marco, sometimes I wonder if you have a firm grasp on this earth stuff. <gasps> Too far. Bunny rocket blast! Oh, God. Oh, boy. Karate class? Marco, we don't have time for detours. The commercial said we have to hurry while supplies last. Focus on the quest. This is where I'm going. Karate. I am not going with you. Dear sweet Marco, I commend him for making it this far on the journey and vow to complete the quest in his honor. Goodbye, sweet Marco. Oh boy. <laughs> store is guarded by a werewolf. I wish you no all I seek is the Banagic Wand. Is this a better store? Nah, better than what? <gasps> More riddles. Hmm. I wish Marco was still with us. You must learn to channel what is deep inside you. Diaz, name an emotion. Uh, hunger. Channel your hunger, Diaz. Channel your emotions to brave the gauntlet of fire. <laughs> Go Wait, walking. We're going to walk on those? 
Uh, that one's okay. But there's a better store down on Main and Riverside. A better store near me? There's a better store on Main and Riverside? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Which way is Main and Riverside? <laughs> oh boy. Diaz! Approach! Well, this should be entertaining. Marco, writhing in agony. Okay, let's see you do better, eight-year-old kids. Now, where is Riverside? <gasps> A river? And it's side! I found it! Like I knew I would! Ahoy, matey! Oh, God. That's what we are. Now come with me to Davy Jones' fish locker. Okay, pirate. I am at your mercy, for I am but your helpless prisoner. Oh, God. Andrew, I'm a powerful princess from another dimension, and I'm gonna get us all out of here. Freedom is nigh! Uh, ma'am? Oh, God. Stay back, you bloodthirsty savages! Stay out of the tornado! Enough! <laughs> Do you surrender, pirate? We aren't pirates. This is a pirate-themed restaurant! <laughs> Do you know where I can find a better store? Oh, gosh. <laughs> There he is. Miranda, I swear, if you wear fuzzy boots to my party, I will break your feet off. What the? Oh, Brittany, you gotta help me. There's an angry mob after me. Could you throw him off my trail? Just tell him I went that way. Thanks, boy! She went in there. And here we have Marco Diaz approaching the gauntlet of fire. Been a tough 14 years for Diaz. No girlfriend. Can't seem to get past Greenbelt. That history of failure must be suffocating him right now. Jeremy, get out of here. I'm trying to channel my emotions. <sighs> Fail. Oh, what? Fail. Where's the teacher in all this? You little twerp! Diaz, wait! Huh? You did it! <laughs> I did it! I understand now, Sensei. Diaz. This was all a part of Diaz. your plan. You had Jeremy act Diaz. like this because you were just. They're magnificent, aren't they? You! It's time to pay for what you've done! Are they talking to you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep! Now, wreck my star? I'll show you! Okay, you guys need to chill out. <gasps> the magic wand! A little bit of banana, a little lot of magic. Designed by leading phraseologists, the Banagic Wand uses state-of-the-art molecular astronomy to frustulate your sizzle zones and chill you out! Oh boy. She has really not got the hang of this. Star, I'm back. You still want to go, uh, huh? Hey, Marco! I conquered my boredom! <laughs> <laughs> hey. Here. I went downtown by myself. I know. 
I was there. It was way easy. I guess you could say I've totally mastered Earth. Sorry, I underestimated you. You underestimated me? Uh, yeah, I did. Sorry. This stuff looks delicious, though. What there was you... a fly on it. Okay. I think Earth is a pretty great place. That's saying something, because I've been through outer space. Okay, so what exactly was that about? Was Star surprised that Marco underestimated her? her? Suggesting that she wouldn't under that she wouldn't get the whole Earth stuff, or I. These last two episodes have given me more questions than answers. Like, what's going on? I mean... Eh? I have no idea what's going on with these last two episodes. Was the whole... Her reaction to his underestimating her one of... I'm not sure what emotion was supposed to be expressed there. Confusion? Denial? Surprise? I... I... I have no idea, actually. It's just... Mm -hmm. I have no clue. Is this gonna be a thing, or...? I don't know what's going on here. Someone in the comments might want to explain it, assuming they understood what the hell was going on? Because I sure as hell didn't. I understood everything up until those last few seconds. After that, I'm like, uh, what? I think even the writing staff behind this one were like, uh, we gotta wrap up this episode somehow, let's have it be an awkward one. I'm assuming that was what they were going for? Hmm. Jaffa Archfiend, out.